you ever wondered, how can a single candle make an entire room smell differently? Today we are learning the answer to all of that and more with my candy rainbow experiment. Hi, I'm Emily Calandrelli, an MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab. And on my channel, we learn about all things space and science. So grab your candy because things are about to get colorful. Have you ever lit a candle and then a few minutes later, your entire room smells nice? How can a single flame fill up an entire room? Well, it all has to do with the science of diffusion. Diffusion is when molecules move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Your flame is creating a high concentration of nice smelling molecules. Those molecules are diffusing across your room to areas of low concentration of those molecules. And before you know it, your entire room smells nice. Today, we are using the science of diffusion to create a delicious rainbow. For this one, you need a plate, M&Ms or Skittles, both will work, and some hot water. Now place your M&Ms or your Skittles around the outside of your plate. So now we are going to pour our hot water in the center of our plate. And the trick here is to do this very slowly. You want it to touch all of the M&Ms around the outside. And once it touches all of them, you can stop. So now we just wait and watch the rainbow happen. So what's going on here? Well, around your M&Ms is a color candy coating. Sugar, basically dyed sugar. And that sugar is moving from an area of high concentration on the M&M to an area of low concentration the water. So that's why all of the colors are moving towards the center, because right here, there's no sugar, right? So they're all moving to an area of low concentration of sugar. But they all look like they're staying in their little lanes. What do the colors have against each other? Is there something weird happening there? Why aren't they overlapping and mixing? Well, that's because in the lane next to them, there's already sugar. Right? So it's moving to an area where there isn't sugar first. Eventually all of these colors will mix, but first they wanna to move to an area without sugar. This will take about 60 seconds to two minutes, depending on how hot your water is. Because hot water has molecules that are moving around faster and that will create a faster reaction. Cold water, it just, it won't work as well because those molecules, they're not moving as fast. So that diffusion isn't happening as quickly. I'm so proud of my rainbow. It's so pretty. You can also experiment with different size plates here because my plate will take a lot longer to get to the center. So if you have a smaller plate, you can make that rainbow connect in the middle. You can also put your M&Ms closer to the center. Put the water on the inside, put the water on the outside and see what happens. Thanks for making a candy rainbow with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe for all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science